their game faces on as they get off the bus. Got to be geared up for these road games. It's time for the NBA, live on 2K Sports. We'll watch the Toronto Raptors in this one as they go up against the Houston Rockets. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter is David Aldridge. Now that we have a second, let's take a quick peek at the rebounding numbers for the last handful of seasons for Alperin Shangun. On the boards, he's been a much bigger presence these last few years than he had been prior and he can be counted on now to make an impact with his rebounding and that's a product of all the work he's put in down low here's the starting group for Houston the pairing up front Smith and Shengun the guard spots are Van Vliet and Green and it's Eason in at the small forward and for the Raptors we've got Emmanuel quickly Scotty Barnes is out there with Pirtle then it's Barrett and it's Abaji in at the small forward position and we know, Greg, most of the talk coming into this game focused on the front court matchup. A lot of talent in the low post here. And, you know, a lot of times that means it'll come down to the rebounding battle. Whoever controls the boards will have a big leg up in the physical and mental aspect of this game. Now here's Barnes. To the inside, Hurdle. Basket is good. The assist from Barnes. Major muscle from Hurdle. Just bully balling the defense with his interior game. Passes it to Smith. Come get it. Come get it. Rebound by the Raptors. They won their last game against the Rockets in Houston. And that was not an easy game for them. I mean, they barely hung on at the end of regulation before they were able to pull it out in overtime. And it could turn out to be one of their biggest wins of the season. I mean, just because of the way they came through when it mattered most, that's, that's clutch play that could serve them well going forward. There's Green with the three. That one's no good. 0 of 1 to begin the game. It's taken away by Smith. Shot by Easton, no good. Here's Toronto. And the call will be against Jabari Smith. That is his first foul of the game. Quickly with it, picked up by Van Vliet. 18 feet out, and that one's good, Barnes. And hitting the mid-range jumper here early gives the defense just another thing to think about. Well, they better be thinking about him. I mean, we know how dangerous he is. Now here's Van Vliet. His last outing, 16 points for him. Yeah, scoreless here early after their first four shots. They, right now, are searching for a bucket. Here's quickly. No good on the triple. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. And he makes that one. Green finds ways to get it done inside. Really intelligent as a scorer. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. So if you look at the Rocket struggles, uh, Clark, over the last few seasons, what stands out to you? Well, I think it starts at the defensive end of the floor, Kevin. I mean, a team is not going to make noise in the NBA if they don't defend consistently. I'm sure improving on D is a focus this season. Hurdle. Shengun with the rebound. For Houston, they've gone just one for five from the field to start the quarter. Here's Green. It's good. This game is all even. Green's got his second basket. Excellent job by Green finishing through that contact. Pass to Barnes. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Here's Abashi. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Van Vliet with it. One of the dependable scorers on the team. He's averaging close to 17 points a game. Outside, Green. 
Shengun with a screen on Barrett. And Green slams it in. Green, because of his creativity and athleticism, carving up the defense with ease. And Barrett has got the ball here for the Raptors. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. No one covered. Barnes has got five points so far. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Now here's Van Vliet. No scoring in this one. Here's Eason. And he uses the glass on the layup. Taking it up strong against size. He does not lack for confidence. That's well done there. I mean, don't even give him a chance to get to the block. Get in tight and finish at the rim. Barnes against Smith. Barnes can't get it to go. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. And it's Green missing. Raptors have gone four for nine from the field to start this game. Up. And it's quickly missing. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. Changes up, and Green with the lay-in. Eight points for him. I don't think Green knows how to slow down or back off. I mean, even with the defense right in his face, he's going right at it inside. Toronto's gone two of five from three-point land here in the first quarter. Pass to Pirtle. The pass to Barrett. Launches it. And the Raptors miss again. Houston's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Green kicks to Van Vliet. Smith sets the pick for Van Vliet. Passes it to Shengu. And it's Smith missing. Well, you know, stopping him is never easy to do, but the defense was strong there. Barnes passes to Quickly. Hurdle with a screen on Shengun. It's deflected. Quickly against Van Vliet. Shot clock at three. Fires the three. And that one's good quickly. Watch out now. When this guy gets into a rhythm, it is something to behold. Rockets trail by three. Van Vliet finds Green. Now Shangoon is stolen by Barrett. Pass to Quickly. And here is Pirtle. Guarded by Green. Let's it go from 11. Pirtle's shot is off. For Houston, they've gone just a shade under 50% from the field. 5 of 11. Now that we're past the trade deadline, Greg, what's crucial as we head into the All-Star break? Well, for teams that traded for players uh, to try to make them comfortable, and, and for teams that stood pat to continue pounding that rock and building chemistry. One falls for. Oh, GA, the long arms and athleticism up and down this roster for the Raptors. It is something. Yeah, they, they have a type that they're looking for blocks, steals, deflections, all coming in bunches. The activity will be there. And so he makes both from the line. Greg, remember back when the 22-23 season started and the Rockets were among the youngest teams in the NBA. And it's hard to win in this league with youth and inexperience. Houston's front office aggressively adding quality vets like Fred Van Lee in hopes of stabilizing that roster. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. Rockets trail. Smith outside. Van Vliet looking around. He kicks to Green. Back to Van Vliet. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. 
Nice to see such unselfish play from Green putting the team ahead of himself. Here's quickly coming in off a 21 point game, his last outing. Pass to Abaji. And again, no good by Toronto. Rockets have gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the first quarter. Here's Van Vliet. And it's Toronto with the rebound. Hurdle's got four rebounds now tonight. Barrett against Green. Can't cash in from close range. Takes it inside. Van Vliet finds Eason. And the three off target. You have to be willing to pass in those situations. That was a low percentage shot. Barnes sets a screen for Quickly. Takes the three. Shangun with the rebound. Shingun's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. Now here's Van Vliet. Shingun with a wide open look. Abaji pulls it in. The defense there got away with a major lapse. Quickly kicks to Barnes. Raptors moving the ball around. Hurdle. Happy to see that one go in for his second make in five attempts. Really amazing body control by Pirtle. Just taking the hit head on and finishing through the contact. I love it. Houston's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. The pass to Smith. Over in the corner, Green. A three-pointer, no good. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. There at the pass to Quickly. Back to Barrett. Barnes outside. That's three-pointers off the mark. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Smith kicks to Van Vliet. Passes it to Easton. And it's Toronto with the rebound. Here's Quickly. And the layup's good off the glass. Quickly's got five. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. And Houston calls their first time out of the game. Houston making some changes. Adams, he's checked in for Jabari Smith. Thompson comes in for Jari Eason. And it's Dylan Brooks in for Green. And it's Van Vliet with the ball for Houston. They trail by three. Shengun with a screen on ground. Adams in the corner. Olenek with the steal. Pass to Trent. Got it. Good job in the low post. And now a five-point Toronto lead. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Here is Brooks. Gary Trent Jr. making his last shot, and the shot is good. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Raptors leading by three. Barnes left side over Shangun. Barnes can't get it to go. Last game for the Raptors, they picked up the W against the Hornets. Pass to Shengun. Now here's Van Vliet. Shengun finds Thompson. Shengun inside. Arms on him. Shengun with the bucket. 
And now just a one-point Toronto lead. Round the pass to McDaniels from downtown. The rebound by Steven Adams. Houston's gone 0-4 from three-point land to start out. Looking cold from outside. Out to Thompson. Good, and Van Vliet gets the assist. Thompson's got five points so far. And great find by Van Vliet. He's in control of this offense and generally makes good decisions. Barnes looking around. Over in the corner, Brown. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. And the Raptors lead by one. Houston's gone 105 from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. Adams outside. And Thompson kicks to Adams. And the pass to Brooks. Five to shoot. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Here's Olenek. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. For the Houston Rockets, they come into tonight following a loss to Indiana. Scoring efficiency was an issue in that one. Took them too many shots to get their points. Yeah, and I think they just seem to be a page behind. A step slower out there all game. And it's Toronto with the rebound. Barnes has got his fourth rebound in this one. And it's Trent in the corner. No oh, good with the triple. And here's Brooks from outside. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Raptors lead by three. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Raptors. Well, they haven't wasted any time getting into a groove from deep, putting up and hitting a healthy amount of three-pointers thus far. One other thing they've done really well, moving the ball around. They've done a nice job not settling for that initial option and making that extra pass. Rockets trail by three, and so in the game for the Rockets. Thompson and Green are the guard pair. Adams is out there with Green, and it's Brooks in at the three. Adams dishes to Thompson. Back to Adams. Rebound by the Raptors. They defeated Charlotte in their last game. Yeah, their long-range artillery hit the mark more often than not. A, a great equalizer when you're on the road. They found their rhythm and kept piling it on. And a huge boost of confidence on the road, for sure. Quickly against Thompson. Over in the corner, Green. Brooks outside. Green, the pass to Brooks. Good! Great play by Green to set it up. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Now, here's Trent from past the arc. It's hauled in by Adams. Greg, one thing you know, you're getting with Gary Trent Jr. Volume three-point shooting. He lets it fly. And he is really fearless at the arc. I think because of his consistency. And when he gets hot, well, he can get on. Oh, and talk about putting some extra on it. That dunk was way over the top. Close game or not, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. Well, I tell you what, guys. The kids, the young kids like to say, that's doing too much. That falls into that category. That was too much. 
Thompson against quickly. Thompson passes to Adams. Dishes it to Green. And Green slams it in. Jalen Green has some serious hops. Yes, he does. So it's Toronto now. Now, quickly. He's got five. Trent kicks to Boucher. Trent against Green. Brown with a screen on Green. Six to shoot. Trent passes to Boucher. And the Raptors miss again. That's excellent defense right there on the perimeter. And it's Thompson with the ball. He'll bring it up for Houston. In the second quarter, they've given up just three points. Brooks finds Adams to the paint. Here's Thompson. He makes another one. That's four up and four in to start his game. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Raptors trail by three. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. And here's Brown outside. It's rebounded by Houston. Adams has got rebound number five here tonight. That's tipped. Green against quickly to the middle. Olenek and the dunk by Olenek. Yeah, he can surprise you around the rim. Olenek has some lift. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Green against Brown. Green taking his time here. He feeds it to Adams. Got him with the pump fake, but couldn't finish. Now, here's Brown. He's got six. Passes it to Quickly. The pointer sinks the triple. Quickly's got his third bucket of the night. A lot of give and take between these sides early. And both teams look like they came to play. We should have a good one. Here's Green. Green with a screen on Brown. Green bounce pass. He tries for three. Green, no luck. Toronto's gotten cold from deep in the second quarter. Just two or six from long range. Brown wide open. He fires. Offline with his three. Houston's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter. System. And Thompson kicks to Green. Down low. Here's Brooks. Good work defensively by Trent. Toronto, they've gone three of eight from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. For three, Olenek, down it goes for his third basket in as many tries. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. And those triples, they sure do add up quickly, don't they? I mean, they've got to make some kind of adjustment here. Back to Thompson. Here he goes. The dish to Green. And Green slams it in. And Green getting off the floor there for the dunk. Really like watching him sky up for those. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight for the Rockets. Shen Goon's checked in for Adams. Smith comes in for Dylan Brooks. And Tori Eason subbed in for Thompson. Curry and KD, Kevin Durant are still great players. We know that, Clark. But as they age, who do you think is now the face of the NBA? Well, it's hard not to talk about Giannis in that regard. I mean, his overall game is spectacular. His personality is terrific. Jokic is in the category. Well, I would think it would be Giannis. I mean, if you made me pick one guy as the face of the league in totality, Performance on the court, MVP level, player, personality, disposition, all of the ingredients. 
Uh, I'm going Giannis. Thompson, he's checked in for Houston. In the corner, Smith with it. Five on the clock. Here's Shengu. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. Shingun's got a second bucket tonight. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Count it good. And here's Thompson. He's got nine. Smith sets the pick for Thompson. Pass to Shingun. He's in with it. Houston moving it around. Here's Smith. Barnes grabs the miss. Barnes has got five rebounds tonight. Aster quickly. Out to Barrett. The Raptors need to get a shot. Here's Obaji. No good from outside. Got the defender off his feet with the bump fake, but couldn't knock it down. Quickly against Thompson. Shen Goon with a screen on quickly. For three, Smith buries the long-range jumper. Smith Jr. capitalizing on his height advantage there. Toronto with the ball. Quickly with it. Eight points for him. Bertle sets the pick for quickly. Nice to the hoop. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. Here's Barrett. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Shabari Smith picks one up. Nice pump fake there. Barrett is an all-effort and athleticism. He pays attention to his craft. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Rockets. I really like how they're knifing inside with confidence, exploiting any openings they see in the defense, taking advantage. And they've also been effective from beyond the arc tonight. And if that continues, guys, it can really open up the rest of their offense. Brown is checked in for Toronto. And then for Houston, Dylan Brooks. He's checked in for Green. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Thompson. He hits one and misses one each at the line. And one outstanding thing the Raptors do, Greg. They really protect the ball. Yeah, even when they're not playing their best, they don't give away games with mistakes. They force you to find other ways to beat them. Trains the three-pointer. Really starting to find himself now, guys, after getting shut out in the first quarter. Barnes outside. Barrett inside the three-point line. That one rolling around and runs out. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Yeah, still close, but with their tough play on the boards, we're certainly seeing the effort. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. Clark, one benefit that Jabari Smith has had in his career is the wisdom from his dad. He has learned a lot. No wisdom like a father's wisdom, particularly when a dad has traveled the road that his son is traveling in the NBA. I'm sure his dad learned a ton in his experience that he has passed on to Jabari Smith Jr. in a way that's benefited the younger Smith. And he can't get the first one. I think he's the prototypical four in the modern game. Jabari Smith has an excellent three-point stroke, and he can defend multiple positions. And the second free throw, good. And Barnes has got the ball here for the Toronto Raptors. Four-point game. Shengun with the rebound. Here's Houston now. They're on a 12-3 run. 
Easton passes to Smith. Shangun with the ball. Shoots over Pirtle. Shangun, no good. Barnes kicks to Brown. Here's Pirtle. His shot is good. Scores his third basket in six tries. Shooting 50%. There's no stopping Pirtle when he has the ball in that spot. Just abusing the defense down in the paint. Van Vliet outside. Brooks against Barrett. The pass to Easton. And there's the drive. Toronto grabs the miss. Pirtle's got eight rebounds in this game. Lined up there for Barnes. It's taken away by Smith. Brooks against Barnes. And a chance now to look at the schedule for the Raptors. On Saturday, they'll face off against Donovan Mitchell and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Then on Monday, they'll defend home court against the San Antonio Spurs. And for that game against Indiana, they won't have much room for error in that one. A team like this will punish mistakes, but I could see them walking away with this one. And that one falls for Brooks. Yeah, a nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. My kind of hoops. Straight ahead, playing downhill and physical. Friends checked in for the Raptors. And a change for the Rockets. Green's checked in. And there's a flexibility to Brooks's game. He can play a specific role for you, or he can be a high usage guy. Really depends on what a team needs from night to night. Hurdle with a screen on Smith. Here's Barnes. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. The 2022 Rookie of the Year, Scotty Barnes. But you know what, Greg? Still working to take that next step. What do you think is his key? Kevin, that's an easy one. It's going to be perimeter shooting. You know, we, we get spoiled Shoot with two. all the other things he can do. And he's had a tremendous start to his NBA career. But I think to become that superstar... The jump shot has to become a weapon. And he makes the first. Adams, he's checked in for Houston. Tari Eason comes in for Dylan Brooks. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach, driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunities, get to the line. Yeah, I like everything you said there, because when all else fails, if you can get to the strike, that's really a good way to change the momentum in the game, because you get points, and you also slow down the opponent because the game isn't going up and down as much. And here's Green outside, and Pirtle pulls it down. Pirtle's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. And the dunk by Pirtle. And you see the passing instincts Barrett has. Great at recognition out on the floor. Houston's gone three of five beyond the arc since the start of the second quarter. Trent against Green. Van Vliet outside. In the corner, it's Eason. Another miss by Houston. Toronto, they've gone 7-16, shooting just under 50% here in the second quarter. Out to the wing. Here's Abaji. He's covered by Eason. Here's Pirtle, and Adams sends it back. Adams puts every ounce of energy into his defense. He's not out there to contest shots. He's out there to reject them. Van Vliet against Barrett. Passes to Shengu. Houston moving the ball around. Over in the corner, Green. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. The battle to a standstill on the boards has really been something to watch. The game's not over yet. We'll see if 
one of these teams maintains more energy than the other going down the stretch. Abaji shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. And now a four-point Raptor lead. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Adams with the screen on Barrett. Van Vliet passes to Adams. And falls. Great assist by Van Vliet. Adams has got his first two points of the night. And this is where Adams has the biggest impact. The closer to the basket, the more effective he is. Here's Barnes. 29 points for him last game against the Hornets in Charlotte. And not just the scoring. It was also how fierce he was on defense. Grabbing three steals on the night as well. Shot clock at six. From deep print. What a play. He simply drains it in at the buzzer. They already had the momentum going to the break. Now they've got even more of it. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. The Raptors out in front as they end the second quarter with a 13-4 run. Time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. Hello, folks. The first half is in the books, and we've got a lead on the scoreboard for the Toronto Raptors. You really like how they're dictating the pace. At least I do. Running at every opportunity, getting easy buckets. Looks like this team is full of young <laughs> Kenny Smiths out there. <laughs> I see why you laughed. Hard to disagree, though. Their speed has been the difference. And let's shift focus over to our NBA Power Rankings for a look at the latest standings. Taking a look here now at Toronto, not a lot of great news coming from them this season, but things are starting to look up, at least a little. It honestly feels like they might be turning the corner, but each time we think of that, they take a step back. So we'll see. And that's a halftime wrap. Let's get back to the second half with the call by Kevin Harlan and the crew. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. A fantastic game from Jakob Pertl in this one. Well, with a double-double in hand through two quarters, you can just imagine what his stat line will look like at the end of this one. Yeah, he's got that locked-in look in his eyes tonight, and he's not going to start taking it easy. I think he's going to be going hard until that final whistle blows. Emmanuel quickly out there with Barrett. Then it's Barnes. Then there's Jakob Pertl, and it's Abaji in at the three slot. That's the five out there for the Raptors. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thanks very much, Kevin. Toronto has a new head coach in Darko Rajakovic. He started coaching at 16 in his home country of Serbia. So even though he's still young, he's already a lifer. In his near decade as an NBA assistant coach, he made a name for himself in player development. Of course, Kevin, that's going to be essential now with the rebuilding Raptors. It is, but I love his resume. His story is terrific. He is just what they need. David, thank you. Now, quickly, pass to Barnes. Back to quickly. That's exactly how you win a rebound battle. Get good position and then use your strength to hold on to that position. Van Vliet finds Green. Back to Van Vliet. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jakob Pertl. That's his first foul. He's in with it. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Shot clock at five. There's Green with the three. And falls. Great assist by Van Vliet. Van Vliet's got four assists in the game. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. 
inside. Here's Barnes, and it's Barnes slamming it down. And for a power forward, he can sure get up. I mean, because of that leaping ability, it kind of offsets his height disadvantage. And the Rockets with possession here. Trailing by four. And after this game wraps up, they're off to Atlanta where they'll take on the Hawks. And that will conclude a four-game road trip. Stolen. Going inside. And that one is hammered home. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. What? You, you mean the throwdown at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. Van Vliet passes to Shengu. And Shengu throws it down. Read the defense and executed. The IQ showing through for Shengu. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Quickly against Van Vliet. Now, here's Quickly. Not a lot of room. The layup off target. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. And stolen by Barnes. And here's the fast break. Harold leading the way. That one drops for him. Barnes has got four points in the quarter. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. Van Vliet outside. Barrett against Green. To the inside. Shingun with the bucket. shingun has got 10. Love when Shingun looks to score, especially from the interior. So, timeout called here. The first for Toronto. Already it's February. Hard to believe. Let's see how the West is matching up. You look at the Rockets. They're down in the bottom of the conference. Their fans hope they can turn it around and show some improvement. Here's Barrett. Steady offensive output from him, averaging more than 16 points a game. Barnes outside. It's rebounded by Houston. Smith's got rebound number five here tonight. Van Vliet finds Green. Back to Van Vliet. Fires from deep. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Barnes against Smith. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Shabari Smith picks one up. For Toronto, they have been successful on three of their four free throw attempts up to this point. That's good from Barnes. The Rockets making a switch here. Adams checked in. Hits them both. Rockets trail by three. Now here's Van Vliet. Seven points in the game. Pass to Eason for the tie. It's rebounded by Scotty Barnes. Barnes has got his sixth rebound on the night. There at the pass to Pirtle. Count it. Pirtle's got 12 points in the game. They are just killing them on the interior. 
Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. And here is Van Vliet. Tipped away. Six on the shot clock. And shot on the way. And Pirtle pulls it down. Pirtle's got 13 rebounds in the game. Seeding. Free throw line jump shot. That shot off the mark. Misfires again, and the ball just refuses to cooperate with him. It's a tough day so far. And you know, Greg, they call him IQ. Instant offense is Emmanuel Quickly. Yeah, and he puts points on the board quickly. <laughs> no pun intended. A volume three-point shooter and has a deadly little floater in the lane. Quickly with it. Picked up by Van Vliet. Pirtle dishes to Barrett over Shangun. The Rockets pull it in. Shangun's got 13 rebounds in the game. Seeded. Shangun with the screen for Van Vliet. Shangun kicks to Van Vliet. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's on R.J. Barrett. And a shoot first point guard. Van Vliet understands how to get defenders to foul him when taking shots. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Raptors. Well, you know, for me, the passing has been fantastic all night. Everybody loves watching this style of basketball where the ball moves and players move. Coaches, fans, and even us broadcasters can appreciate that kind of action. And also, guys, they've been showing how dangerous they are in the open floor. When they see a chance to get easy points, boy, they just jump at it. And the Raptors making a change here. Trent's checked in. And so Van Vliet nails both of them. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. And the Raptors call time here. Here's a look at some stats for Purdy. Just an incredible month of basketball. He's putting up about 14 points a night, 20 rebounds, and two assists. You can't understate his impact on the backboards. Right. I mean, that's where he's one of the best in the business. Hard to outfight him on the glass. And here are the Raptors now. Three-point lead. Barrett against Green. Barrett the pass to Purdy. Fires the three. And again, Toronto no up. He had a couple in the first, but so far he's been unable to get uncorked here. Adams with the screen on quickly. Van Vliet passes to Adams. Back to Van Vliet. Wide open shot is on the money. Van Vliet's got seven points here in this quarter. And you have to appreciate the confidence. Van Vliet wastes no time shooting the rock when he is in that groove. The Raptors have gone just a bit under 50% from the field since halftime. Five out of 11. Trent, a screen on Van Vliet. And it's quickly missing. Nothing seems to be going down for him today. Van Vliet gets to Adams. He dishes it to Green. Something I like about Jalen Green, that, that ability to go vertical and just adjust midair. We call that great body control, partner, and you've seen guys over your time around the league where that's a special gift, and it really can make it hard for defenders. Green is excellent using that body and athleticism. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. Well, Jalen Green is a product of G League Ignite, and clearly showing other folks there's a new path for potential lottery picks to take. Oh, 
And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. Toronto's gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Green against Barrett. Trent outside. And the pass to Barnes. Six to shoot. And that one's good quickly. And this is someone that can really hurt you from long range. He did that to a degree in the first half, and he's doing it now. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for Houston. Van Vliet outside. There's the three. Eason's shot is good. Eason's got five. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Here's Trent. The rebound by Steven Adams. Adams has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. On the wing, Green. Off target from three-point range. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Houston. They've been playing some really physical offense, just attacking the paint as much as possible. And I tell you what, they have been very successful with that strategy. And I love the way they've been attacking the basket. I mean, they've looked to penetrate every opportunity they've had, and they've done a nice job doing that. A free throw drops for quickly. Greg talking about Jakob Pertl. It doesn't seem like he gets enough credit for his defense. I don't think he does. I mean, he's an excellent rim protector and rebounder and a big man who just takes pride in defending. Houston making a switch here. Brooks checked in. Barnes against Shingun. To the paint. Here's Pirtle. And Adams sends it back. And he recovers it. And that one is good. He's got 14. Really nice job to convert the putback opportunity there. I mean, he stayed with that play from start to finish. That's something we say about him a lot. Van Vliet passes to Brooks. Back to Van Vliet. Stolen by Quickly. Trent outside. Pass to Barnes. Back to Trent. Just four to shoot. Fires for three. And again, Toronto with the triple. The D just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. Quickly against Van Vliet. Season. He's got five. Brooks outside. Hits it from three-point range. Brooks has got 11 points. Boy, they've been terrific from beyond here in the second. Exactly what the doctor ordered. Those three-point bombs will erase the deficit quickly if they can keep it up. Quickly with a wide open look. Basket is good. The assist from Barnes. Barnes has got his fifth assist in this one. And so it's Houston with it. It's a five-point game. And again, the turnover by the Rockets. And with the pause here, how about the stats for Van Vliet? And he's in the top 20 in assists per game. His talent for creating easy buckets for his teammates, such an asset. And he's been deadly from the free throw line. Only a handful of players are shooting a better percentage. Phenomenal asset to have on your team. Here's what Toronto's going with right now. Kelly Olenek's checked in for Perk. And it's Brown in for Quickly. Thompson, he's checked in for Houston. Here's Barnes. Can't connect from short range. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Van Vliet finds Thompson. Pass to Adams. Got a hand on it. Nobody near Barnes. It's good from about 19 feet. Barnes has got eight here in the quarter. And he is really in a zone right now, playing and scoring with confidence. 
Van Vliet against Brown. Van Vliet left side. Eason against Barnes. Brooks from outside. Barnes grabs the miss. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And that one falls for Olenek. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Yeah, they've not missed a single foul shot this half. And that's taking care of business, fellas. And Daniels is checked in for Barrett. The Rockets also changing it up. Green comes in for Jari Eason. And it's green in for Fred Van Vliet. Brown dishes to Barnes. Back to Brown. And here's Olenek from the arc. It's hauled in by Adams. Adams has got eight rebounds in this game. And Thompson kicks to Adams. Back to Thompson. From deep green. It's hauled in by Brown. Raptors leading by eight. 40 seconds left in the third quarter. Pass to McDaniels. And there's the pass to Olenek. And the Raptors miss again. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for Houston. There's the feed to Thompson. Trying to end the drought. Good D by Barnes. Toronto's gone three of seven from three-point range here in quarter number three. McDaniels kicks to Barnes. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. For Houston, they have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. First one drops. He's off on the second. And Green's defense, very important to this team's success. The way he gets up in the face of whoever he's guarding, it becomes infectious to the rest of his guys. And so it's Scotty Barnes making things happen for the Raptors. His stat line has been terrific. As the quarter ends, he's already got a double-double. We'll return shortly. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. And how about the floor generalship right here? I mean, showing us why they're always in good hands when he's the man in charge. Well, clearly he's the guy that stirs the drink for him, and that's how he does it, with his dynamite passing skills. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Taking a look at the Rockets, the wings, Green and Brooks. Green is out there with Steven Adams. And it's Thompson in a point guard. And there's the call on Amen Thompson. That is his first foul of the game. Brooks against Trent. Screen by Olenek. Down low. And shooting against Adams, very challenging. He's an assertive defender who won't back off. Thompson, left side. Brooks against Trent. Here's Green. Makes it off the glass. And guys, all about hard work from this point on. They've worked hard to create that high-quality shot and then able to knock it down. 
Boucher with a screen on Thompson. Quickly, a three ball. Rockets with the rebound. It's Brooks on the wing, defended by Trent. And the toughness of Brooks on display, not fearing contact when he's looking to score inside. He misses the free throw. And he's good on the second. That one miss was huge. He had a chance to turn this into a one-possession game. Trent against Brooks. Brown outside. Doesn't go for him. Great tee that time from Green. Rockets trail by four. Here's Thompson. Rebound by Olenek. Toronto, they've gone 0 of 3 to start the fourth quarter. Inside. Here's Boucher. The kick out to Brown. Second chance shot. And right through it goes. And the Raptors lead by six. You got to have a good basketball IQ to be effective. I love the decision to kick it out. Green passes to Thompson. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. Green against Boucher. Shots good by Green. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Well, you don't want to give him any open shots at this stage. Never mind the layup. Come on now. My goodness. Raptors leading by four. Now, quickly. Boucher with the ball. Back to Trent. This one for three. Bangs home the trifecta. That is not enough coverage. Got to do better than that defensively. Basically no coverage. I mean, defense did not look very good there. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Rockets. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. And there's Thompson. That's good on the assist from Green. And 12 points from a man, Thompson. Here's quickly. Passes it to Boucher. And here's Trent. Now, here's quickly. Over Thompson. It's rebounded by Houston. Adams has got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. The drive by Green. Yep, that one goes in there. Now it's just a three-point Toronto lead. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Here's quickly. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. And the Raptors hit again from deep. He's showing no signs of letting up here. Rockets have gone an outstanding four or five from the field in the fourth quarter so far. And Thompson kicks to Adams. Outside, Green. Thompson for the triple. And it's Toronto with the rebound. Well, he had one three-pointer in the first half, but so far in the second, he's come up with two saves. An open look for quickly. A shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got three assists tonight. Rockets trail by eight. Thompson outside. Out to Brooks. Rocket six. There's Green with the three. 
on the wing, Thompson. Quickly covering. That should give him a nice little jolt. Ah, uh, yeah, it has to. They need a jolt, GA. And, you know, that's exactly what happens when you don't settle. That's the result. Tremendous effort and a big-time finish there. In the corner, it's Boucher. And the Raptors hit again from deep. So many of the plays they're running designed to create opportunities from deep. Well, you know, that's exactly their plan here in the fourth. Work to find space behind the arc and then bury some threes. Green against Brown. Outside Green. Adams sets the pick for Green. Rebound by Olenek. Olenek's got five rebounds tonight. Trent with it. He's picked up by Brooks. Trent passes to Boucher. Olenek in the corner. Let's the three fly. The rebound by Jeff Green. Rockets trail by nine. Nifty move. And Boucher sends it back. And here comes Brown, leading the fast break. Oh, and it looks like that's going to be a goaltending call. Yep, that's it. So they'll get the basket. Yeah, he was just a skosh late on the contest. That's going to be a goaltend for sure. Well, checked in for Trent. Houston with a big group substitution here. Shengun's checked in for Adams. Smith comes in for Jeff Green. Tari Eason's checked in for Dylan Brooks. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Thompson. No three-pointers for him in that first half, but the second half, different story. Round against Green. To the middle. And that one's good quickly. Quickly's got 14 points now in the second half. Now a timeout called by Houston. And the Raptors with some changes. Turtle comes in for Chris Boucher. And it's Barnes in for Bruce Brown. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Well, during the break, I listened in on Ime Odoka's huddle. And he begged his guys to get after it on the break. He said, let's keep up the tempo, guys. You know how dangerous we are on the break. Be confident with the ball. Take risks. Move it, guys. Thanks so much, David. Here's Green. And Barnes sends it back. And as it goes out of bounds, Houston able to keep the ball. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. The Raptors making a switch here. Abaji's checked in. For three, Van Vliet... They grab their own miss. And even against defense as tight as that, you, you almost expect him to still bury those. Here's Abaji. Pass to Quickly. Shot clock at six. Shoots over Van Vliet. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Rockets trail by ten. Eason, a screen on quickly. In the corner, Smith with it. Good, and Van Vliet gets the assist. Hey, that quick release is what makes Smith so lethal in those catch-and-shoot situations. Pass to Barnes. Shoots from the elbow. Chengun with the rebound. Rockets have gone through the fourth quarter shooting 50%. 7-14. of 14. Van Vliet with it. Picked up by Barrett. Here's the three. He can't get that one. Raptors leading by seven. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Green. That is his first foul of the game. And here is Quickly. Buries it down low. Quickly's got nine points in the quarter. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. And it's Van Vliet with the ball for the Rockets. 
Eason with a screen for Van Vliet. Three. Rebound by the Raptors. Barnes has got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Free throw drops for quickly. Raptors leading by 10. Now the pass to Barrett. Hurdle with a screen on green. Here's quickly. Rebound by Smith. Smith's got six rebounds in the game. Quickly against Van Vliet. Shengun with the screen for Green. In the corner, it's Eason. Here's Obashi. A three pointer off the mark. Rockets trail by 10. Van Vliet, right side. Shangoon finds Green. Green's activity on offense is something I really appreciate. Because of that, I think he makes the defense typically commit fouls. And one of the big changes to college basketball, Clark, as you know, the NIL. Name, image, and likeness. It, it seems like that would impact the choice to enter the NBA draft. I don't think there's any question it's had that impact. Some guys that were borderline draft picks now not being penalized for being on scholarship can monetize their name, image, and likeness and do so to the tune of some fairly significant dollars in some cases. And even if the money is not NBA large, it still can close the gap for a family of a player that might be struggling and could use some additional income. Here's quickly. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And so he's picked up his final foul, and he will sit for the rest of this game. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that, that's your only option. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup, so I'd agree with you there. John Glendale's checked in for Smith. He's off on the first. Adams, he's checked in for Jock Landale. Good on the second free throw. Yeah, and their free throw shooting has really improved here in the second half. Van Vliet against Quickly. Van Vliet kicks to Green. Another miss by Houston. Not sure if he just ran out of gas or what. He's been awful ever since the second half started. Not even been a factor. The kick out to Barnes. Back to Barrett. And stolen by Shangun. In the corner, it's Eason. No good from outside. Raptors leading by 10. Here's quickly. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Green inside the three-point line. Shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. Green is a made bucket getter, and his number has been called all night, and he has delivered. Here's quickly. Drives to the hoop.
and quickly drops them both. Here's Van Vliet. Shengun with the screen for Van Vliet. And it's off from three-point range. They can burn some clock if they want to. And get a little breather as well. With the shot. And good! He nails it. And hard to defend that any better. Sometimes Van Vliet is just going to score no matter what. 153 left to play in the final quarter. Quickly against Van Vliet. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. A minute 42 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Van Vliet against Quickly. Right side green. Beyond the arc. That falls. Great assist by Van Vliet. Van Vliet's got assist number nine now. Wow, what an effort here tonight. We've got 128 left in the fourth quarter. Raptors leading by eight. Here's Quickly. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. They're taking it right into the teeth of the defense, and it's a defense that's starting to look frustrated. Well, they should be. I mean, it has not been a good performance for them at that end of the floor. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for Houston. Kicks to Green. Passes to Shengu. Quickly against Van Vliet. A shot. Shingu, no good. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. That free throw, no good. And, and we'll just watch the clock wind down, guys, in what will turn out to be a win here for the Raptors. And they're fully in control now, but there were some tense moments, I thought, for them uh, throughout this game. Uh, listen, they certainly weren't coasting, despite what the score looks like. I love the way they came together, though, when everything started to look a little dire and really put the hammer down. And so they'll stretch their victory total to 19 on the season. And with this win, it gives them a sweep of the season series, even though it's just a brief two-game I tell you what, no matter how brief it is, anytime you can get a season series sweep, you're happy. They push it up for on three. Here's Barnes. Oh, and the dunk by Barnes. And you can sense that these fans, these players, they are ready to celebrate. And I think they can start that celebration right now. I mean, what a terrific team victory. And that's life above the rim, courtesy of our AT&T 5G Slam Camp. Van Vliet against Quickly. Outside, Green. Pass to Shengu. Back to Green. From the arc. It's rebounded by Scotty Barnes. Now, Quickly. And so Toronto takes this one, but by a big margin. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the, the first step in becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And, and this is what they came out to do. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And now, our New Balance Player of the Game. Emmanuel quickly.